everybody. Tonight we are continuing our celebration of Craig Worth's 50th year in television. Now, Craig has met thousands of unique characters while working for stations here in Utah, plus New York and Los Angeles. Tonight he introduces us to a guy with a short fuse, and it's definitely worth watching. Here's Craig. Okay, there's one character I'll never forget. Captain Dynamite. Now he was part of a baseball documentary that I did 30 years ago when I worked for Disney. You're just going to have to see it. That's the only way you're going to believe it. The place was an old wooden ballpark on the Montana Prairie in Great Falls. The documentary was about minor league baseball and the characters who made it special. The park was the baby of two groundskeepers. Billy C., who worked all night to make it special, and Grady, who really didn't work at all, but liked to push the wheelbarrow. But you got more than a game. You got the darndest acts that followed the minor league circuit. Like Captain Dynamite, he would be there Wednesday. And Captain Dynamite will be here on the field to blow himself up. Well, as you could imagine, folks showed up on Wednesday Yes, Captain Dynamite was going to blow himself up. Well, back to our story in 1988. You ever been hurt doing this? Huh, I didn't get this face from shaving. <laughs> well, now, now, Captain, uh, uh, when, tell us exactly what you do here. You put dynamite around you and you like the fuses and you yeah, blow up. The uh, dynamite is used for sticks and DuPont's explosives. It's 90%. Come on, six, sir. It's an odd thing. I've had blasting caps shot into me and, and horseshoes into my nose. A uh, piece of my protection plate for the field hit me in here. And I don't even feel it until after I wake up. Wake up? You mean you're knocked out? Oh, yes. It knocks me out from 5 to a 15 second knockout every shot. <laughs> He signs autographs for the kids. But he admits to being a bit hard of hearing after blowing himself up 3,000 times before, all with sticks of dynamite. Well, it's something that very few other people would care to do. Now, as I remember, the pitcher was giving up home runs. Just relax right here. Take a deep breath before you go. Let's go. Come on. Meanwhile, the captain has now set up his ghastly shop in the back of the bullpen. He is making his coffin of death. Oh, way to go, baby blue. Out of way. Nice game. Nice swing, guys. So the game ended, and we took our cameras to the field and back to the story of 30 years ago. And the captain comes out of the dusk, leading a company of a few good men. He found only the bravest, three players, Grady and Billy C. They carry the coffin of death. Their destination is second base. Now, while you're there, drop it. Drop it. Go ahead. After a moment, there is only the captain and Billy C. Billy has been entrusted with a captain's sacred hat. Billy decides it would be a good thing to save second base also. Not even Grady has seen Billy run like this. Billy comes out. He is full of puzzlement. He is full of amazement. Billy is full of much wonder. Well, I should say, Captain Dynamite is no longer with us. He did die, but it was of old age. And you know what? His wife then took up the trade and became Mrs. Dynamite. I can't make this stuff up.